Vespa Motorsports here in San Diego. Kind of excited, some of the new 2013 Vespas are starting to roll in the back door. And uh, one of the new colors for 2013 on the Vespa GTV 300 is the Sienna, or uh, cream color, a lot of people call it. It's been on hiatus for a couple of years and it's back now. A lot of people don't really know too much about this bike. It's uh, based on the 300 platform that the Super and the GTS have been built on for years. This is definitely the vintage model, hence the V in the name, GTV. Features a lot of neat stuff that's not on the other bikes. This particular bike comes with a hand-stitched leather, Italian leather seat, handmade by guys named Giuseppe back in Italy. It's a uh, beautiful, rich leather. It's uh, a split seat, so it's a little bit more of a classic style seating back from the uh, scooters from the 50s and the 60s. Uh, the bike also has the extremely distinctive front headlight, not up on the headset as it is uh, usually on the other bikes. Down on the front fender, which gives it an extremely vintage look back to the uh, bikes from the late 40s and the 50s. Uh, these are extremely limited production. You probably build like one of these for every 25 to 30 of the other bikes. It is a bit of a premium, but you get a lot of nice options on it. You get the chrome Vespa branded rear rack. Also standard is the front chrome rack, which is bolted to the frame, uh, another nice value. Traditionally, the bike will come with a low fly screen. This particular one is, uh, has the optional medium-sized screen on it. Uh, a lot of the same features on this scooter that the other ones have, of course, are the storage underneath, plenty of space for riding gear, helmets, and other personal effects. The gas tank is still underneath the seat where you fill it up right there, 3.2 gallons. The other nice thing, of course, about this and all the other Vespas is that it has the automatic transmission. A lot of people are still surprised when they come into the dealership today and find out that they don't have to shift these scooters like the old ones. This is a full CVT automatic transmission. It's kind of like a twist and go. Hit the gas, turn it and go. Uh, it comes with disc brakes, front and back. You've got the disc brake for the rear on the left side, uh, front disc brake on the right side. These little scooters uh, get anywhere from 65 to 70 miles per gallon, depending on how you ride. It's about a 21 and a half, 22 horsepower engine. It's capable of speeds of up to, yes, 90 miles an hour or more, depending on the rider size and weight. It's extremely efficient, has fantastic acceleration off the line, and uh, looks good doing it. Another nice feature of the uh, GTV, unavailable on other scooters, is the Full chrome wheels in the front, and it has chrome front and back. Uh, comes with a vintage style speedometer, odometer up top here, with the handlebars exposed, much like the uh, older scooters from the 50s and 60s. It's a really nice package, incredibly comfortable to drive. Anybody can get on this thing and go and have the most minimal riding experience. Another question a lot of people ask me, and this is more general in regards to all Vespas, a lot of people think that, oh, the Vespa, it's just you're paying a lot for the name and it's different from other scooters. It's no different from other scooters, but the truth is it really is. The difference between a Vespa and just about every other scooter, and a motorcycle for that matter, is that the Vespa is built at, with a monocoque uniframe. This is all one steel piece chassis. It comes up, leg shields underneath, down to around the back. Completely unique in that most scooters are built on what's called a spine or tube chassis where one steel pipe comes down the mid-frame and then all the plastics bolt to it. What that means is that there's a lot more construction that goes into a Vespa over any other kind of bike out there. Uh, and it provides a ride, a solidarity, and a presence to it that no other scooter is ever going to be able to provide. It doesn't make it necessarily better, but it does definitely make it feel better. And uh, I always tell people it's kind of like the difference between getting in a really nice Japanese four-door sedan and then getting into a German four-door sedan. Both are awesome cars, but you definitely feel the difference from one car to the other. And that's the same thing with the best one. Anyway, that's the basic package. 2013 models are rolling in. You want to see you guys come on in here. Remember always, if you have an M1 license or uh, your learner's permit, we highly, highly promote test rides. Come on in, check out the new product. We're getting more in every day. Hope to see you here soon. That's me, TC, signing off for now.